Hi everybody, it's Sam. Of course it is. Of course it is. Doing my video for March 22nd, it's Sunday, and doing really good. Um, slept really well last night, um, except when my dad called at 6 o'clock by accident. I was so worried, you know, I thought it would be like emergency, something wrong with my mom or the pets. Because my sister called me once at midnight when I was in college because Toby ate dryer sheets. <laughs> it was really bad. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so I was really worried, but it was just him calling by accident. I guess he just put his phone down and it hit the wrong button. Anyway, so but I slept good, had breakfast in here. That's why I love the weekends. Because Jess can get breakfast and I can eat in here. I don't know where I go into the day room that smells like smoke and disgustingness. Um, then I had my medicine, took a nice nap, and then um, had lunch and came back here. Was on the computer looking up stuff. I looked up therapist for a friend. I looked up some different videos. Um, and I later in the afternoon I bought some books for my friend Carol Ann and I. Uh, we, we share an account. Well, I have my own account for Kindle, but like we buy books for each other on Carol Ann's account. So my, my iPod is like synced to her account. And she buys books and then I buy books for her. And it's a lot easier because once I found out like she had tons of books that I wanted that were like so expensive, she, she let me sync onto her account. So yeah, it's a good deal. Um, oh god, this guy. Sounds like the dude with Cynthia. Anyway, um, so yeah, we I did buying books, hanging out, writing emails. Um, oh, yep, there's some new There's show. Cynthia. There's people outside in the hallway yelling. Sometimes this happens, but we get used to the people on our floor and like what goes on, so it's okay. Like going on other floors is wicked stressful. Um, like when I was on three. For the longest time, it was just really bad because you're right in front of the nurse's station in the observation room. And it was just wicked loud. And then even when I come up on five, it was like, it was a change, you know. But at least we were in our own room. And I with a lock? With a lock and a doorknob with a coat on it that no one can get. Oh, my God. So one of the CNAs couldn't get the door open. She, I think she would, like, click it, like, do the code, but she wouldn't twist it at the, at the time. The She never hit the pound. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So... That was really annoying because I had to open the door. At least twice. At least twice for them to get in. Because I think she would like give up and then walk away. Yeah. Like it's not like she knocked, but you know I'd hear her doing it. Anyway, so that that was like somebody that like wasn't a regular CNA. So um, yeah, I, I bought books and I'm probably gonna buy a couple more books because these books were like a dollar each. Um, so I've just been hanging out and I made a new video of me signing, Jess and I. So that should be good. Everyone can watch that. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, trying to think. Tomorrow I'm going to program. I'm not looking forward to the transportation is the worst part. Because it's, it's an hour and a half, almost two hours each way. Because we have to go to different nursing home facility places. And then drop off at different programs. We go to Annexter which is another program, and we go to, I think, Thresholds. We pick up at Thresholds on the way home, um, and we have to go all the way and then go to the program, and then um, going home is the worst part. Going home feels longer than going there. It just really, it's like more traffic in the afternoon, and you have to go to Annexter and wait because they, they're they not right outside, like, waiting. They have to come down and, like, get to the van. So, yeah, it's just really long, and, like, it's bumpy in the car, so like when I try to read on my iPod it like bounces it and so when I set it to read continuously it bounces it and like then it, um, it, it stops it reading so I have to set it I have to like try to set it again and sometimes it won't like let me because it's just bounced around so much so Jesse says I should use my braille note but I don't like people asking questions about my braille note and I just want to read in private um, maybe I will because it's wicked boring on the ride home yeah, but I hope the group is okay tomorrow. Um, it was really good, the session I had with Jonathan yesterday, um, Friday, um, you know, about cognitive therapy and about how we can take, like, maybe, even, like, the one little thing that might be good for me and he can, like, um, help me, like, 
you know, be, be okay with it a little bit more. And we talked about different stuff on me, so it was really good. So tomorrow, hopefully it'll be good. I still don't like this one staff very much that does the cognitive mm. therapy. So I hope I don't have a group with her. But Friday, I didn't have a group with her. I mean, Thursday, I didn't have a group with her because the med students were there. Um, so I'll probably have a group with her tomorrow. When the group is big enough, they split us up into two groups. But when it's just, you know, it was a small, they put us in one group. So I don't know what they're going to do, who's going to be there. It's, like, different a lot of the times because people are, like, making up their days. Because if you do three days a week, you get a prize. And I'll get my prize tomorrow. Yay! Because I did three days last week, finally. My third week, I did three days. Um, let's keep it up. I know, let's keep it up. Well, after after what I got, you know, after they were all going nuts on it, uh, I better. But, yeah, so people, so if, you, if they miss one of their scheduled days, they can make up a day. So it's different people there a lot of the time. But I'm getting to know the people. And it's going to be always changing because, like, I think at the end of this month, like next Thursday, which is the 27th, I believe, um... They are going to be um, graduating some people. I think a couple people. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, and then new people will be coming in. Because you can only go for six months, and that's all insurance will pay for. And they're saying that, like, it's, it's going to be harder for you to come back. Like, say you wanted to come back, like, again, insurance might not let you. But I don't think that's true because there have been a couple people that have done it come back to their program. So, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so uh, you get what you can out of the six months. And, um, like I said, I was hoping for more, like, creative arts therapy over there because, first of all, the director is a dance movement therapist, but she's really weird and, like, not engaging at all and sits in the office most of the time. And when she does a group, she, like, has no idea how to talk to people. And she doesn't do any expressive arts, anything. So she must have, like, done dance movement therapy, like, way back in the day when she was actually excited about something. (laughs) <laughs> um, so then there's like we do some art like we did velvet art I'll have to show you sometimes um, the velvet art I did took it home and on St. Patrick's Day we did a four leaf clover with this with Megan the other therapist she's really nice we like colored in it and st- put it on the board and made a wish um, so we've done art stuff they played music for like relaxation stuff and that's been okay um, but we had, we had chair exercises where they played music and we had a relaxation exercise that made me exhausted that they, they played soft music on. So that was good, but I thought it would be more like music therapy, you know, like listening to music and talking about it or someone bringing in a guitar and playing songs or something, you know, but I guess it's not, not like that. So, um, it's too bad, but I like the, I like the checking in groups and, and I like the, I love the writing part of it because I bring my computer and we just, I just write um, whatever they want me to write. And then I email it to them. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, I guess. It's just hard to get back into the routine. I know tomorrow, Kinsey will be like, wakey, wakey at 7. And I'll be like, uh, no. Um, but, yeah. I'll go to bed pretty early. Like, make sure I'm, try to settle down, you know, early. Um, and then get a good night's sleep. And then tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow... I'll be, it'll be Monday and Tuesday, two days in a row, and then Wednesday, and then Thursday, and then yay! Yay means three-day weekend. Um, so yeah, that's my week, um, and hopefully we'll, we'll do a lot of fun stuff, and I'll have a lot to tell everybody when I um, come home. So yay, people of YouTube. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.